it was a difficult transition to go from just growing up in LA to we're in you know, Helsinki, Finland, or we're in you know, some weird place like Rotterdam or some shit. And I felt the culture clash and this was weird shit to me. And I don't know how you know, the guys put up with me during that point because I was just so all over the place. But I could say the more I had to go to these places, the more I had to do it over and over again, the more I became used to it. And now everywhere I go, I feel like home. I come home, but at first, the main obstacle I, I feel was myself. I had to get used to who I'd become. It's not easy, man. For some people, it is real easy. Like for, like for B, it was real easy. For me, it wasn't. For me, it was a challenge. Like I had to get out of my own way in order, in order to flourish, you know? And now that I have children and everything and they're stoked that their dad is send dog from Cypress Hill, and you know what I mean? They love that about me, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I, I, I love that they love that about me. So the biggest obstacle for sure was just getting used to, you know, being, you know, a celebrity, a famous person, it's, it's a difficult transition for some people, you know? The transition from rap to rock, and as far as recording it, I think it was, uh, it was natural to us because we had grown up listening to all this Kiss and Van Halen and Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath stuff. So we, we had that spirit about us already to where we, we knew what the spirit of rock and roll was about. It wasn't like these two rappers that went into this blindly, not knowing nothing about the history of rock and roll and, and the blues and the Mississippi Delta and Muddy Waters and Robert Johnson. We knew all that stuff. So it was kind of, at that point it was easy. I, the hard part was writing the songs and getting an identity from those songs, you know? But early on in those sessions, Rock Superstar was born and that kind of like set the pattern for how we're gonna rap on this stuff, you know? And that's how the transition was made from rap to rock. Power flow is a power kick in the ass. Um, I'm having the most fun that I've had in a long time performing with these guys. And I have, you know, Billy Graziati and Christian O.D. Wolvers, Roy Lozano and Fernando Schaefer. And we're, we're a power lineup and the, the name is fitting. Power Flow is, a, is actually a name of a rap style. When you, when you rap over heavy metal music, you're doing a powerful flow. And that's what Power Flow is. And I decided to use that as the name for my project. And I think it's a fitting name. And I'm, I'm grateful for these guys to have them in my band, to back, backing me up and the, to believe in me that I could front man this outfit and we could go places and do things because you have to have people to believe in you to do anything. But when you're in a metal band or a rock band, the heads that are behind you have really, really have to believe that you're the shit. You know what I mean? You just can't get up there and think like, I'm okay at this. You gotta think that you're the best motherfucker on this lineup tonight. And that's the way you have to present it and play it and your attitude has to be that. Some call it cockiness, I call it confident. You know what I mean? And that's what power flow is. Power flow is power, it's, it's a rap flow, it's punk rock, you know, it's metal, rock touches. And it, it, I think it's the perfect band for everyone that likes all these other, every single one of these genres. From punk to hip hop to everything in between, power flow touches that. So that's what I love about it the most. Thank you.